Hi, welcome back to Tech with TJ. Today I'm going to be talking about the Elegoo Centauri Carbon. I got it a couple months ago. I'm going to do a review, kind of slash my thoughts about it. I um, don't want to go a deep dive review because the specs and things like that people have talked about and there's plenty of other videos. This is kind of going to be more light review slash my thoughts like I've said. So the unboxing, when it came in, it's pretty much assembled. The only thing you have to do is put that glass top on top of the printer. And you have to put the screen, plug in the screen to the little plug. And then there's clips that just hold it in. It's pretty much pre-assembled, it's, so it's not too hard. Anyone can really do it. I've been using it, I would say, pretty much every other day. And it's been really good. Now, I'm not. Uh, an advanced 3D printer person at all. I use PLA and I've just started using PETG. So take that with you know a grain of salt. I'm not the not going to claim to be an expert. And I know everything. The consistency has been really good though between the two that I've printed with. PLA prints perfectly fine. As you can see, I'll show examples of kind of the mods that I have to my printer slash like printer results on how good they look. Same with PETG, it prints the same way. It, I haven't had any problems. Some people have had problems though with PETG and had to adjust the Z offset a, higher a little bit because PETG does print uh, kind of like puffy a little bit when it first is getting printed. So just keep that in mind is that, you know, your printers might be different than mine. So as I had mentioned, I printed some mods all this is in blue Elegoo, uh, not PETG, PLA. Um, I have the tool caddy, screen action, uh, bearing spool holder, purge slide, a vented, the vented riser, uh, the filter by the uh, Uncle Jesse. I have a bunch of other mods too, like the door handle, uh, build plate, glass holder, just, you know, simple stuff like that. Now getting into the pros and cons of this printer. Pros are its price. I mean it's $300 so you very entry level I would say. It also prints fast. I have noticed I came from the Elegoo the Neptune uh, 4 Plus which is also I think a solid printer but this one's a lot faster. It's fully enclosed too so you know this can print um, ABS, ASA kind of those harder filaments that need an enclosed space. So that's pretty cool. Now the cons of this printer. Um, it's it's pretty loud when running. I have it next to me at all times because it's in my bedroom. So it's pretty loud. The loading and unloading filament button is kind of weird, I would say. it's It's definitely a learning curve. Now it does work, but it's kind of, I don't know. It's, I feel like it's kind of buried in the settings and then it's kind of, it's just funky to use. I'm just not used to it. So I could, you know, that could just be a learning curve on my end, not really their end. I just feel like it could have been better or maybe more centered on the screen or something where it's not, you click on one tab, then you click on all, it's, it's the last setting in that tab. It's, it's very weird. And then the bed leveling takes forever. Uh, they need to speed that up it's there's no way that it takes like i mean it takes a long time they do each point like three times and it just slowly moves across especially for how fast the printer is i would think that they would want to advertise that speed by showing that in the bed leveling so that's also kind of another con it's just if you do you when you print you have the option to do a heated bed level which I kind of do suggest it definitely does help but I wouldn't do that after every every time you print because it takes probably five to seven minutes I've never really timed it I bet people have though on YouTube so if you're you know very curious about like how long that is you can go and see that so my thoughts about this printer I think that honestly that is probably the best printer I've, I've ever owned but like I said take that with a grain of salt I've only owned one other printer but 
as you can see though too if you watch other reviews about it they also highly suggest this printer it so far it's held up really good i know they do have a um shortage though of parts right now which is another con um but other than that i highly recommend it's 300 dollars so i would say an entry-level price and you get a pretty mid-tier um printer that prints good has auto leveling and can print all the filaments pretty much that you would want all right so that's that's going to be my quick little review here about this kind of slash my thoughts thank you all for watching please hit that subscribe button leave down a comment and please keep on watching my videos thank you